Welcome back. Maura's back now to answer your relationships questions. Lovely to see you. Right, we have got Luke who has written in and says, my best friend and I have been inseparable since secondary school. However, every time I'm with her, I get butterflies. She often tells me about guys she's seeing, but it makes me secretly frustrated. I'm so afraid that if I tell her, it will ruin our friendship. What shall I do? Tell her. You have to tell her, don't you? We you know what? Have... One of my best friends actually school. told me that they had feelings for me and it never ruined our friendship. But obviously it's a risk you have to take because it can make things a bit awkward. But I think you, you can't say it. I think you you have to it's say how it you say it. Yeah, yeah it's how you say it. Yeah. how you say it. So 100%. how do you tell your best friend that in actually you're secretly in love d with them? D don't be drunk. Be sober when you tell her. That's good <laughs> advice. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. you think that... I mean, the thing is also, it's one of those opportunities. If you don't say it... You never know. Yeah. I know you. She think... might say, "Oh You'll my always God, wonder, I feel the same. Like, yeah. I think you should. I think you should start by saying things like, "Gosh, you know, you are amazing. Anybody would be lucky to have you." Yeah. God, look. I mean, look at you now. I think you're amazing. And just start like, yeah, sowing those subtly. seeds. Yeah, like, maybe subtly, like you know. dropping in a few hints. And see mm. what the reaction is. And what the gauge a is. bit of reaction, yeah. test the yeah. water a bit. Yeah. yeah. You think? But yeah, I do. Luke, go for it. I think yeah. you should do it. But and then do it know. gently and carefully. <laughs> and, and, and yeah, if we want to know how it goes. If you were to be rebuffed, then, you know, just say, I'm cool with that. This is all fine. It's yeah. uh, just, I've got to get it out there because if I don't say it, I'll regret it forever. But yeah. if I've said it, yeah. OK, you don't feel the same way. That's fine. Let's go back yeah. to the way we were. Yeah, 100%. Good right, luck, then. Luke. Good luck. OK, let's, uh, let's uh, hear what Alice had to say. She said, my ex and I matched on Tinder the other day and <gasps> we've been talking ever since. <laughs> he now asked me if I want to meet up with him. What should I do? Should I meet him? Does he what? know? Why? Yeah, Why so do does you think he matched with you? him on Tinder? What? Well, I don't... It must be her... Cr I haven't done Tinder. I've never done... Do you have done... to put a criteria in? I don't really... I've never been on Tinder, so all I don't do, know. All you do is swipe. But if you match, yeah, so swipe, swipe, you swipe, swipe left or swipe, swipe right. And Hang on, the producer's telling us how so it works. Obviously, they like each other. You've they been, both he's on have it, matched. He's on she's it all liked him. the time. So she must have liked him. Why are you him? liking your ex? He's an ex for a reason. Yeah, would they have, ma how would, would they have matched? They'd both swipe, they'd both yeah, they've, swipe right. They've, yeah, they've matched. So basically, yeah, they've, I think said that they both like each other and then they've matched Yeah, up. but you're, it's, it's an ex for a reason. That's what, I, yeah, that's exactly... But Don't sometimes. go there, like, do not go there. Never. Well, you know what? Some people do get back with their exes, but I, I just think it's, no. It's not a good idea. It's not a good Onwards idea. Onwards and upwards. Yeah, because there's a reason you split up. It obviously wasn't working out, so... And you, can, you, can be, you can be matched for, for many different reasons, but there could be just one reason that you don't yeah. get on. Mm. All so, right, well, yeah. don't do it, says Maura. Right, Tom <laughs> says, My girlfriend and I have been together for seven years, but recently I've noticed she's become distant with me. Seven-year itch. It turns out she's been sleeping with other guys. Oh God, that seven-year itch is so true, by the way. Is she it? is scratching it. She, <laughs> <laughs> but she says she still loves me. What do I do? Oh my God, get rid of her. Like, she obviously doesn't love you, does she? Well, she might, she might love him. Well, but she doesn't she, love him enough. Not enough. She's sleeping with other people. Yeah, I don't think you can stay with somebody. You can't. You'll never, you'll never can't. trust her again anyway, so... Well, I mean, that, that, that certainly would be very difficult to s stick with her. She's, uh, and, she's, and she's become distant. No, she you know, doesn't it sounds deserve, like, yeah. It sounds like it's sort of done, doesn't it? Oh, mm -hmm. that's done. Definitely, 100%. It's done. Get rid. Get rid. Get rid. Bye, hon. Oh. There's a theme here, all of these. Yeah, Joanne. <laughs> Move on. Joanne yeah. says, my partner of six months has uh, just disappeared. I've tried to call and message on social media, but there's been absolutely no, no response. No, don't, don't, don't keep calling them. That's the worst thing to do. Should don't I just forget calls. and move on? Yeah, forget about it. Well, they disappeared. It could be a missing person. Well, yeah, actually. You, I wonder, is he OK? <laughs> I'm sure, sure from other people that they're still OK, yeah. perhaps. But, um, but Six months is quite a long time to be with somebody and then get and ghosted. Yeah, that is, I mean, you can it's imagine... It's quite strange. One... But it's also incredibly rude. Oh, we very rude. We were talking rude. about this yesterday. And you don't want to be with, with him with, anyway. With Vanessa yeah. and saying that, um, that you, wanna, you at least want a, a reason. Give me a reason. You know, ditch yeah, because me then you that get closure. Time, but then like, say, right, OK. This poor girl has no closure. Mm. And also, like us now, we're a bit worried about this person. <laughs> like, yeah. Are they OK? Is like, he it's still un alive? It's unfair <laughs> to kind of put someone in that position where they then get worried about you. And you're worried about them, yeah, yeah. absolutely. So, uh, so. so I think... Uh, but I think if, yeah, if he's OK, um, I mean, just don't, please don't be calling him because that, that's it's not a good thing to do, I don't think. 
Yeah, yeah, so if you can, so that I think the bottom line of that is if you can find out Because he can see okay. oh, all these messages coming in, oh, I can have her whenever I want her. That's what, he, that's that's what, what he's that's thinking. That's the way guys think. Sorry, How Phil, dare but... you? How dare you? <laughs> I'm sorry, but it's true. <laughs> uh, OK, so you reckon she's just parked there for oh, yeah. convenience? Yeah. Mm, OK, well, oh, well it's not looking good, Joanne. So we've just basically told everyone to All of them. Parents. Alice, Tom and Joanne move on. Luke, tell her you love her. That's oh, yeah, up. tell her. <laughs> <laughs> thank um, you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Well done.